years, you will just born into the river of life. Speaking of which, raise your hand if you are happy with your life. If you are happy with all the decisions you have made in your life. Uh, please can you raise your hand? Okay. Seems like most of us are happy with our lives. So let's talk about life. Life, life is an ocean. Life is like a tree with infinite branches. There are a million distractions, family, friends, studies, boring work. And exciting projects, books to read, video games to play, movies to watch. And then there's your couch that someone is lying on. Jeez. It's easy to get lost. So let's take a step back and take a look at it from the outside. Ooh, disgusting. Anyways, let's assume that all of you live up to the age of 100 which means you have a total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,200 weeks since the day you were born to the day you die. You basically spend the first 600 being a kid and the next 400 being a teenager. By the time you're 20, you have spent more than 1,000 of your 5,200 weeks. At this point, you are either working or have entered higher education. But most people tend to work in their 20s, and most people tend to work until the age of 65, which means that uh, until you have completed 3,400 weeks of your 5,200 weeks, your life is filled with serious adult work. And by the time you're 65, if you manage enough wealth to acquire retirement, you are now free to do whatever you want for the rest of your life. That means 1,200 weeks. <coughs> Sadly, if you spend all of your fun cards on retirement, you will be bitterly disappointed. Because with old age comes all sorts of diseases and, oh, my back. Back pains. And, yes, most of us wouldn't live up to 100. The average lifespan of a Sri Lankan is 75 years to 80 years old. Living up to 80 years isn't that bad either, because that means that you even got to grow old. You can drown in a pool at age 7, get cancer at age 32, die in a car crash at age 48, fall from a ladder at age 60. Life is like a balloon in a world made with needles. Every day, the universe rolls a bunch of dice for you. And every day, someone somewhere on this planet were also critical failure, and their life ends that day. The older you get, the more dice roll for you. Usually, when you swim through this ocean of life, you do not think about any of these things. And that is fine. Life is engaging by itself. And the future is this weird, undefined thing. Thinking about it helps in refocusing what you are going to do next and to minimize regrets that you will have later on. And also to remind you that if you don't use your time today, you might not get the chance to use it tomorrow. Life is complicated. And it's pretty hard to make decisions to all the things and people you love. Take your parents, for example. As kids, you basically spend every day with them. But your time spent together Sav begins to decline when you transition and become a teenager, when you fight to develop your own identity. You'll still probably see them every day, but this totally changes when you enter your 20s, when most people move out for work, for university, or just to be on their own. That means the vast majority of time that you will ever spend with your parents has already been passed. I know, life sounds disappointing. But it's only disappointing if you enable it to become a disappointment. Is there a hobby that you have always been lazy about? 
are those musical instruments still on their on your room pick them up play, learn to play them do you still want to paint those warhammer minis that are rusting in your table's locker take them paint them do you want to revisit that place where you had an amazing experience a decade ago revisit that place do you want to pick up the spot again just to meet new friends pick that up because one day this balloon is going to pop and this river is going to end and it's going to become too late before that happens learn how to swim and swim through this river happily because at the end happiness is the only thing that matters over to you